The real problem, which by the way, no one ever talks about, is that everywhere we look at society, we celebrate victimhood. We are no longer celebrating people who put in the work. We are no longer celebrating people who overcome. Instead, we are celebrating people who have the saddest story. Instead, we are talking about and competing for the attention about who suffered the most. Well, let me tell you something, guys. You can compete for that your entire life and nobody's gonna bring you a motherfucking thing except a couple likes and a couple bullshit comments that people don't mean. The real winners are still and always will be the people who aren't immune from obstacles, but instead see obstacles as an opportunity to get better. They see this as the path to winning and they are right. They will always be right. And no matter how much we try to soften the world down for everybody to feel like a fucking winner, not everybody will be. The only people that are going to win are going to be the people who recognize the opportunity to improve when they get punched in the fucking face, which happens to all of us. So if that's you, if you're sitting there at home and you're posting sad story after sad story after sad story, realize that that's all you're ever going to fucking have. And I would suggest that instead of seeing life through the perspective of who's going to be the biggest winner of the losers, start being who's going to be the biggest winner. There's nobility in that. There is nobility in overcoming hardship. There is nobility in overcoming obstacles. There's nobility in creating a story that other people are inspired by. There's nobility in fucking dominating. You know why? Because it shows people, the people who are coming after you in this life, what's possible. It shows people who are coming after you in this life what they can achieve. And that isn't something that sounds good. That's our obligation. Our obligation to this planet is to make people behind us better. How you speak to yourself determines how you act. And a lot of you guys make things harder on yourselves than what it really has to be. For example, when we talk about building a company and we talk about sacrificing the weekends and the nights out and the, um, you know, the times with friends, the vacations, we talk about, we talk about it in terms of like, it's this painful thing, right? Sacrifice. Uh, or we talk about building a body or we talk about building your mind through, you know, maybe 75 hard. Um, we talk about sacrifice and we talk about how hard it is and we talk about how painful it is. And we almost like hang our hats on that. And, and I get that. I do that as well. Like, I like to think I'm a bad motherfucker. I like to think I'm putting in the fucking work nobody else will do. And that makes me feel good. But the problem with that, guys, is that sometimes that language can actually make shit um, artificially harder than what it has to be. And so I want you to do this. I want you to stop thinking of things in terms of sacrifice. And I want you to start thinking in terms of investment. All right. One of the biggest mistakes that you will make as a human on a path to success, whether that success be financially physically, spiritually, in interpersonal relationships, whatever it is, or success in all areas. When you think of it as a sacrifice, you're making it extra hard on yourself. And so what I want you to do is I want you to start thinking about investment. And I want you to understand that when you miss the weekends with the guys or miss the night out with the girls or you pass on the trip or you do this, you're not sacrificing anything. You're actually making an investment because the investment is delayed gratification and it, you just haven't seen the payoff yet, all right? So when you miss a night out to work out, you're not sacrificing a night out. You're making an investment in the future. And that investment in the future is gonna create a better life. It's gonna create more money. It's gonna create better relationships. It's gonna create a better body. It's gonna create more confidence. When you're getting something in return for what you're giving up, it's not really a sacrifice, it's an investment. And this is something that all of you guys need to get really clear on because as men especially, and some women, we like to feel tough. We like to feel badass. 
And I'm guilty of pushing that a little bit, you know, sometimes too, because I like to feel badass. But the truth of the matter is, is that when I skip something fun for to do something that's hard, I know that there's a payoff coming later. And what this really comes down to is understanding delay gratification. And if you guys can understand and make the decisions that delay the gratification, you're making an investment. A sacrifice is really just you giving something up. And it sounds like shit. What sounds better? I'm making an investment in my future or I'm sacrificing the night out with the guys. You're not fucking missing anything. You're not losing anything. You're not giving anything up. That's some bullshit that everybody does their whole fucking life. It's no different than what every other human does. And it's what everybody does. It's not something that you're missing. You're choosing to make an investment in yourself. You're choosing to make an investment in your money. You're choosing to make an investment in your body. You're choosing to make an investment in your relationships. And you need to remember that when you talk to yourself. Because if we constantly tell ourselves that we're sacrificing everything, we're always going to feel empty. We're always going to feel like we're not having anything paid back. We always going to feel like we're doing all of these things for nothing, which is not the truth. The truth is, is that we're doing these things for something. And that means it's an investment. So that's my hack for you guys. We don't have this long drawn out process here. Just start replacing the idea of sacrifice and instead think of it as an investment. That will make your days much easier, much more fulfilling, much more pleasurable if you know that you're going to get up and do this fucking work because it's going to get you this later and you understand and believe that and you're making an investment, it becomes that much easier to do. But when you tell yourself, oh man, I'm going to miss, you know, this dinner or this wedding or this trip or this, that so that I can stay on my program or I can, uh, you know, focus on my business or I can do these things. All you ever focus on is what you missed. All you ever focus on is what you're giving up. And if you focus on what you're giving up, you're going to become obsessed with what you're giving up. And eventually that's going to break you because you're going to be focused on the wrong shit. So this is really about tricking yourself with using different language so that you focus on the right thing, so that you're focused on the outcome. You're focused on what you're going to get. You're focused on the work you're doing. You're excited about the work you're doing because you know that the payoff is going to come, all right? And the reason that you guys struggle with this mentality is because most of you haven't ever really accomplished anything yet to believe that the payoff is coming. This is where using a role model or listening to someone who has actually done the things that you want to do is valuable because these people can show you if you do X, you will get Y in return. And in the beginning, when you haven't experienced this for yourself, You got to have a little faith. You got to believe in the other guy that you're watching. And you got to be smart enough to know and believe that if it works for that motherfucker, it's going to work for me too, most of the time. Now, you might have to make a little adjustment here or there. But the truth is, we live in an environment where if you put X in, you get Y out most of the time. All right? So find someone who has done what you want to do. Pay attention to what they do. Make the investments that they're making and trust that the result is coming your way. And if you do that, it will be much easier for you to move forward than it is right now when you're telling yourself constantly about all the shit that you're missing and giving up and, and, you know, sacrificing for the future. You're not sacrificing shit. You've already done that shit. You know what it's like. You know what it's about. And you know where it's going. Start making the investment. Make the investment in you. Build a better life. Be excited about that investment. Know that it's going to produce a result and things are going to get much more clear, much more simple. And what you'll find is you're going to develop positive momentum at a much quicker rate. All right. So it's just a little language hack. It's not a sacrifice. It's an investment.